Welcome back, I'm Captain Xavier, and I am a shameless fan of getting free stuff. Especially free, awesome gizmos, and what we have here is a pretty gizmo-y gizmo. This is the Olight from Osight. Comes in a very fancy box, and apparently has some innovative new features, including what they claim is the industry's first magnetic charging cover. I don't entirely know what that means, but I'm looking forward to finding out. Uh, let's get into this thing and take a look at it. Super snazzy box. Oh, well, that's unfortunate. All right, well, here we have the gizmo. It is unfortunately coyote. I forgot to tell him I would want it in black. Oh, well, I can still find a use for it. I have no doubt. So this is the magnetic cover. And I see. Yeah, yeah. And then it just has a USB port on it. Uh, this apparently does have its own battery bank because as soon as I plugged it in, it lit up. Fascinating. So, yeah. That is pretty, pretty cool. What other gizmos does it come with? Well, we've got the manual, which I'm actually going to probably want to take a look at as well as some additional stuff. Small bins. This is a fancy, fancy box. I'm assuming this is our USB cable. Sure enough. With covers <laughs> and well, there's our tool for uh, adjusting it. Comes with a fancy looking tool. The USB cable actually has a cable tie that is above and beyond an unnecessary and I dig it. Caps on the ends, again, unnecessary and I dig it. What is this? This appears to be a bag. A bag with a cleaning cloth for all of your accoutrements. Very nice. And finally, I'm assuming this is hardware. Yeah. Screws. All, all the screws in all the land so you can attach this to whatever you want. The one thing it does not appear to have is Picatinny rail. So I don't know what I'm gonna attach it to. Uh, and it's OD green, so it doesn't really match my idiom. I'm assuming it comes in black, and I just failed to ask. Let's see what we got. Give me a moment while I read this. Right, I read through the manual. I have a vague idea of how it works. As I said before, we have our magnetic cover here, which is both the recharging station, but also a battery backup. It has its own battery in there, so it can recharge the optic in the field should it get drained, which is nifty. And then it's just got USB-C that plugs in there to recharge this, and obviously if it's sitting on there while charging, it'll charge the thing. Pretty cool. Got a button there to tell you what the current charge is, which is schnazzy. We then have our gizmo, which is very compact, but has a relatively large aperture there, which is really very nice. Um, it uh, will screw onto whatever pistol you want. It's got the standard pistol screw mounts and comes with all the screws in all of the land. Obviously, if you want to put it on Picatinny, uh, Picatinny rail, they have adapters that this screws onto a plate that then has Picatinny, which this didn't come with, which is a shame, but there you have it. The controls are on the side, as is quite often the case. Um, it's, mm, it's currently on. Let me turn it off. There we go. Okay. Um, you push both, but you push any button to turn it on and, uh, and we'll turn it all the way up. So you might actually be able to see it. There we, no, well, 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 where'd it go? Well, aha, there it is. Uh, it's just a plain red dot, but you can decrease the, uh, how bright it is and increase just by hitting the two buttons. Perfectly logical there. If you hold down the uh, plus, 
it will enter several different modes after it'll for three seconds it will blink twice now it is in uh, lockout mode so pushing the button does nothing um, or pushing either of the buttons it no longer increases and decreases it stays at whatever setting you had it on when you locked it if you hold it down again for three seconds it'll blink three times and now it will go into light sensitive mode so it detects how much light there is in the room and will increase or decrease the uh, intensity of the red dot based on how bright it is outside so if it's really dark it will reduce it because it doesn't need to be very bright if you're if it's very bright out it will increase it automatically which is nifty if you were going through you know into a dark building or something you might uh, uh, might be very useful to have it automatically adjust itself and then if you hold it down again um, for three seconds it will blink and then you can manually adjust it again it has one other setting you can go into if you push the negative and then push it again and hold it so push hold it will eventually blink and it will turn off or turn on the motion sensor. Uh, so this, this thing will turn itself off after 10 minutes of inactivity so you don't drain your battery. Here, you got it on the light, I can push, push. Did it do anything? There we go. So now it's off. The motion sensing is off. Push, push, and hold. And it will blink once, and now it's on. So if I set it down for 10 minutes, it'll turn itself off. You pick it back up, and it will turn itself on. Which is neat, because that way you can just put it on, leave it on, put your blaster or your, your whatever you have it attached to uh, on the rack. It'll turn itself off. As soon as you grab it, it'll turn itself right back on again. So if you're anticipating needing to use it in a hurry, that's also very useful. Um, Turn it back off, you just hold both of the buttons. Swamp Cat is running around like a lunatic because she is one. There we go. Hold both buttons, turn itself off. All right, I'm going to attach this to something and go plink. Well, not right now, it's actually dark now, so it'll be tomorrow, but um, you don't need to know that. Editing is magic to the range. Losing daylight fast. So I only brought one mag and I've only set up uh, four of the bottles. I'm gonna see if I can hit anything at all with this optic. Let's give it a go. Oh, that is bright. I got him! With my last shot. That's not too bad for out of the box and, and not sighting it in. That's, uh, that works real well. That was real nice. I'm sure uh, the friend I give it to will uh, enjoy it and use it uh, in, uh, for good and not for evil. Um, darn shame I didn't get it in black. It's all right, I got other optics coming. Uh, so stay tuned. There will be more optics in the future. That's all I got. Train. Thank you for watching. Link in the description, of course. Thanks for the gizmo.